and welcome everyone to another exciting episode of the Super Carlin Gaming Pokemon Leaf Green Randomizer Nuzlocke Challenge. Did I say Nuzlocke twice? I don't know. Maybe. It feels like I, felt, felt like I did. Oh, goodness. It, there is turmoil. <clears throat> there is just... It's not... It's... Uh, let me tell you guys. Last episode... We were, we were in the Pokemon Tower. We were visited by many of our greatest failures. Um, and, and had a new one, which was the failed catch on the Beldum. We didn't go into the Marduk. Let's, let's just go right now. Bye. Great ball. Okay, we're going to get like 15. Okay, there we go. Awesome. Super Potion. Let's get like 10. There we go. Are we low on anything else? We don't need revives, obviously, because it's something you can't revive the dead. Okay, right? Paralyzed. Let's get a couple more. Why not? Let's get um, hey, super repels. Yeah, okay. we'll get another one. Okay, sure. Good. We're all set. Everyone's everyone's hinkety dorkety. And oh goodness, though, the mist beldum. What a what a such such a bummer. And I'll tell you what. In the mm, Moirin, who is normally so self-assured and so on his own out there, he, you could tell he feels bad. He like even Moirin recognizes like that would have been that that would have been a good catch. Don't know who anyone. I don't know if any Pokemon would have uh, voluntarily stepped down, but the loss is felt across the team more and most of all, which is surprising because you would think Moirin is a little like selfish enough to not care that it would have benefited the team, but it's obvious even more. And it's like, look, it's not Moirin's fault. I'm the one who said do the leech seed. But as is often the case in these situations, it's easier to blame someone you don't like as much than someone you do. And the team for the most part likes me and Moirin, as we all know, has been a little standoffish. And so, uh, you know, I want to say, you know, I wish people would blame me and I'm sure you guys in the chat blame me. But um, we're not buying the great balls, which it is my fault. Let's be clear. But it's, it's just not how it's being. That's not, you know, that's not. You, it's easy to say that, but it's not easy to feel that way. And so the the anger has turned towards Moran, including Moran in on himself. He's just not. He's just very down, which I mean, it's on the one hand, it's like at least there's the well, at least it's nice to know you do care. You do care enough to feel bad. Um but it's also just like, it's not really your fault, but that, that the words are not helping. I don't know what words will help. That's, it's, hmm. Ugh. It's, it's, it's been not so great. Cece, as you might expect, the, the coldest of shoulders towards Moira, and as, as Cece always very dramatic with her anger, as we've come to learn. I wanna say Happy has, you know, Happy has at least tried to, to offer the claw of friendship and say like, it wasn't your fault, but Moira, Maureen blames himself. Blames himself. Yeah, I got a bite. Okay. So we're okay. So what we're gonna do this episode, though, in addition to trying, oh look at this fisherman with his ivy sword. Thinks he's hot stuff. We're gonna send in Dracus to deal with that. Razor Leaf, you got nothing. Aerial Ace, we got something. Kaboom. You're dead. There we go. Team working together. Oh, this guy's actually another. All these, all these poison trainers, man. Somehow, it's like poison isn't weak to flying, but they all end up being weak to flying, don't they? Because, oh, should we go for a pretend? Shoot, let's let's try and scout a self-destruct. Let's see. I dare you. Oh, that would have been amazing if you used self-destruct and we had like completely, um... oh, the sludge. Mm, I don't like the sludge at all. We're going to try it again. I feel like it's going to self-destruct and it'd be amazing if we protect it against it. Tackle. Okay. We're gonna keep trying because I don't want to be hit by it. Tackle. Okay. And we're just gonna alternate between that and Aerial Ace so we don't get hit. Now it doesn't matter. We're just faster and we'll win. So there we go. Drac is 32. Here we go. Here we go. Mmm. It would have been. It would have been very fun if we'd been able to uh, predict that. You know where we're gonna lead though? We're gonna put, cause I, cause Data is one level away from evolving, so I'm gonna put Data up front and hopefully we can get a level. I'm pretty sure it's one level. I think it's 34 when uh, Seal evolves into Dugong. We're gonna find out. So our goal today is to find, we're not gonna fish here cause what we're trying to look for is the Snorlax. We want the static encounter on the Snorlax. We're gonna try and catch it, whatever it may be. Oh, a Waylord, okay. Uh, I'm gonna try and let Data knock this thing out cause we should be okay. Yeah, obviously that's not gonna hurt. 
and I think Waylord would offer up a ton of experience. So we're just gonna headbutt this thing down. Flinch it, well done, Data. Boy, Data just thriving. Look at how much experience we got, over a thousand. That was amazing. We're gonna keep up the headbutts, you got it. Oh, you're going for the withdraw? That actually is a good move, but we're gonna, yeah, you got nothing. And we're gonna headbutt, dead. Oh, this could be it, could this be the fight? No, okay, Fisherman Chip, he's dead. He's dead, he's embarrassed himself. I don't know, the Waylord was cool, that was fun. Let's see what this guy's got. Jolteon, okay, so this time we are gonna switch because <laughs> we don't wanna fight that. Uh, all right, maybe maybe what Moira needs is a quick, is a quick uh, fight to make himself feel better. Try your, tr oh, look at this, look, see? Look how your magic leaf withstands the sand attack. It's wonderful. He can sand attack, but we can lean on you because you can't miss with that. There you go. Kabam, you knocked out the Jolteon. Well done. Fisherman Hank is dead. He was worthless. Okay. Here we go, we're gonna keep moving. I love fishing, don't get me wrong, but it'd be best if I also had more work. <laughs> that is the opposite motto of like every fisherman ever, right? Every fisherman I've ever met is just like, I would just rather be fish. I'd rather be fishing. That's the bumper sticker. Oh, okay, this might be it. This could be the level. There's 34. Oh man, we might have an evolution on our hands. That's exciting. Oh, the Magnemite. Let's not ruin it by also dying at the same fight. We should be okay. I'm gonna water pulse this. Yeah, okay, we're good. Look at Data, feeling good. Is this guy steel? Yeah, he must be a steel trainer, not a ground trainer as or a rock trainer as I initially assumed. Oh, you taunt, how dare you send a Beldum against, well, that's fine, we're just gonna wreck it. We don't have to go easy on this one. Maybe it'll knock itself out with takedown. We've seen that move before. Don't wanna be on our team, that's fine, Beldum. That's cool, oh, maybe that was the same one. Doesn't matter, cause you know what? Now we're gonna evolve and it's gonna be awesome. Ready, it's not easy. <gasps> Is it gonna happen? Is it gonna happen? Ah, data is evolving! What? I'm gonna have to update the emoji for data gang to be a dugong. Yes, here we go, here we go. Bam, all right, if you're watching, if you're a member, just spam all of the data gang emojis right now. Give me some data gang in the comments, in the chat. Oh my goodness, your data has evolved to dugong. Trying to learn sheer cold, ooh. Ooh, dare we? Oh, interesting. Oh no. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> interesting. So, the foe is attacked with ultimate cold that causes fainting if it hits. Now, here's the thing about sheer cold. It's not good because of the accuracy being 30. However, having such a, like an ace move, oh, like it'd be very... It would be reckless to have it, right? Like it would be reckless to rely on it. But if you found yourself in a situation where like, we only have one shot and you hit it, that would be fun. That would be fun. Oh, but it, can we can we justify it at all? I don't think we can. I don't think we can justify sheer cold. It'd be, it's, it's fun to think about, but is it practical? Sadly, no. I don't think so. I think we're better off with Aurora Beam, which is way better now by virtue of one, evolving and getting more powerful, and two, evolving and picking up the ice typing. So, I think we're just gonna stick with Aurora Beam. Headbutt is good, Water Pulse is good, Rest is good. Okay, Sheer Cold is a fun idea, but we are practical on this team for the most part. And we do have two water types, but, you know. Uh, so what? Let's send out, look at this, Moirin has now also somehow fallen to the lowest level on that. Moirin is just having a bad day. Moirin's having a bad day. We're gonna get Moirin some experience with the newly evolved. If you win, you're gonna propose. Why are you putting that on me? Okay. Ghastly and Gengar, all right, we can take these guys. We can do it. You guys got this, right? Right, let's go with the Aurora Beam. Let's get rid of the Gengar first, right? That that for sure seems like the smart thing to do. And let's just Magic Leaf also the Gengar. Let's go. One, two, punch. Day did Moirin. Let's get out of this funk. 
Spite, okay, yep. Yeah. And the Magic Leaf, bam. Knock out that Gengar, you got it. Look at that, Moira, and you're, you're doing it. With your signal, oh, the Spite. Reduce the Magic Leaf. Now they're attacking the one move that Moira is always, they're literally attacking his signature move. What jerks these ghost type Pokemon. All right, well, I don't feel bad that you're not gonna get to propose to each other now because you're attacking my Pokemon who feels bad about himself even though it's my fault that the bell didn't get caught. Okay, so here we go. We're at the Snorlax. Can we catch it? Can we catch it? Oh boy, I'm, I'm very nervous because I don't know what... Well, one, let's not forget, it's gonna be a high level. No matter, even if it's just a Snor... Even if it is just still Snorlax, that's a problem. Um, it's gonna be good. So we're gonna try and paralyze it, of course, for sure. That's our regular strategy. We're gonna throw in CC. Maybe we'll even, we should throw in CC to get the Intimidate and the Charm on whatever it is. Um, so that it's just weak, so that it's weak. Oh boy, I am nervous. I'm very curious to know what it could be. Like if it's not gonna be Snorlax, what's it gonna be? I don't know how the game is gonna handle it. Oh boy, this is tricky. All right, here we go. I'm, I'm like nervous. We have 15 great balls, so you, maybe that's not enough. If that's not enough, I'm gonna be, well, it's too late now, we're in. This is our encounter for this route, and it could be good. Snorlax woke up, it attacked the Grumpy Rage, but is it a Snorlax? We'll find out. It's a, this is the most, uh, it's a Whismur, come on, come on, that is no fun. It's a level 30 Whismur. I mean, I guess Exploud would be cool, but. Whismur, oh my gosh. I think Whismur in Pokemon Go, in, in Pokemon Go, in Pokemon Go is the only other Pokemon besides Caterpie and Wurmple and, Meta, and um, Weedle that evolves with just 12 candy. Feel free to correct me. Supersonic, yeah, okay. We're still gonna go into CC, and we're still gonna do that. Cut the Wismar attack, Supersonic missed. We're still also gonna charm it. Yeah, can't move. And let's just give it a, let's just give it a tackle and see how that does. Oh, oh, whoa, we almost knocked it out with a single tackle. Boy, you can tell CC not a fan of having another normal type around, but let's just go Great Ball. Uh, I really was not sure how it would handle the static encounter but it is a level 30 Wismer, so there is that look at that one shot one catch okay explode would be good explode would be good that's not bad the problem with Wismer is that you have to like tr you have to train it as a Wismer, right that no one wants to do that but this would evolve in like one level <coughs> to at least um Loudred. whisper pokemon okay so let's go ahead yeah i'm not i'm not unhappy with this because we're not far away from explode if we need to uh, use it. And we're gonna name this guy. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna keep it all caps. I'm gonna keep it all caps because it's because it's exploded and it yells. So it's gonna, well, it's, yeah, I'm gonna go. It's, it's Walt. Walt the Wismer. Always has to yell the name. Walt. Welcome to the team, Walt. Or to the box anyway. Although that's a, that's a handy, Handy possible teammate, dare I say. Should we come, should it come down to it? Now the question is, where do we go next? We could just continue along this route to get to Fuchsia City or we can go to the cycling road. I guess we could check the other Snorlax. Not that it matters because we can't catch it, but we could at least catch a different Pokemon on that route. We haven't switched routes, have we? It doesn't like switch halfway down. This guy can give us a different rod, I believe, right? We can get uh, the good rod here. The Super Rod, hooray! Okay, great. Oh wait, are we on Route 12? Different route? No, okay, yeah. Same place. Anyway, electricity is my speciality. Is it? We'll find out. Azumarill, that's a fun Pokemon. It seems like electricity is going to be your downfall, friend, because you're not even part fairy yet, which is when Azumarill really gets amazingly good. My Azumarill in my main game is awesome. Do not want to fight that thing but it wants to fight you. Spark. Man. Wizma. Walt the Wizma. Shout out to uh, Walt Disney, who in the chat has been, uh, <laughs> who made the Walt Disney Company, no, uh, who in the chat has been extremely generous on this particular playthrough. Um, 
with all those super chats. Uh, very kind of you. Very much appreciated. Um, let's go get that item and fight this guy. Look, <laughs> we, um, I'm searching for, if that's a moonstone and that guy's like, I can't find one. I'm gonna laugh in his face, but he must have, oh, he's got an Electabuzz, that's cool. Um, up, 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 uh, let's go, let's get Moirin. Oh wait, maybe this was dumb. Thunder Punch, oh gosh, I didn't. Okay, we're good. What we're gonna do is Mega Drain this thing to get some health back. Yeah, that worked. We're gonna do it again. It's leering us though, I don't like that one bit. It's making me feel like we're, gonna, we're low on defense. Oh gosh, okay, come on. We got our health back, but we're very low. If he hit, I'm afraid if he hits us with something, our defense is so low. Yeah, we're not gonna risk, we ain't gonna risk that. We're just gonna, oh, light screen. So we were fine, but we're just gonna quick attack this thing for the kill. Good job, Sporkles. And um, oh, you've got a mining. But does your mining hit with critical hits? Oh, Encore, you want more quick attacks? You got it. You got it. You would charm us. Okay, that's not a terrible strategy. But also, oh, you're light, you have a light screen. Oh, that wasn't affecting. Oh, man, okay. The charm. Encore combo is not the worst. I will give him that. I mean, he can barely touch us at all. Let's show him what a spark looks like. Yeah, there you go. Encore over. That mine and I will say, not many things can survive mine and quick attack, but apparently other mine and this guy, he understands how it uh, iron. Okay. I was gonna laugh so hard if that was a moonstone. Like I was like, I just can't find one. <laughs> it's interesting having cut on the team, because I almost never do at this point of the game, so I never pick up that item. Sporkles! Crushing stuff. Yeah, this guy's got nothing. Far-fetched. I mean, that's cool that he has a far- Oh, he's a normal trainer, not a flying trainer. Uh, you've got a Grand Bull? Oh boy, do we know what to do with you, don't we? I can fight you. Let's go Grand Bull on Grand Bull. Are you gonna charm me? I'm gonna brick break you and knock you out in one shot anyway with a crit! You did. Fisherman Andrew, sorry, see you later. Better luck next time. So sadly, we're not on a new route, so we can't actually catch anything in this grass, but let's see what could have been a Swinub. So, I don't really care. Um, I guess if we get down, if we get down to where we're heading left again towards Fuchsia, we will be, oh, an Igley buff, that's adorable. Then we can catch something else in that grass, so that'd be cool. Normally that's where you catch dittos, I doubt, oh look. It's Utha, the Jigglypoof. He's dead. We're gonna level, oh, Ursa Ring. Wow, that's a, we're gonna go into CC for this. Throw the Intimidate on it, hit him with the old Brick Break. It's got nothing, right? What a, what a combo. The Intimidate plus the super effective fighting move. Sparkle's good. I guess the other thing we could do is go into Saffron City, right? Or we could go to the Fighting Dojo and get a free Pokemon there. That could be something we could do. Uh, at the moment, we're still gonna... I don't know what that guy's doing. Are we on a new route yet? You'd think. We've started... Get out of the way! Okay. I'm too good for a kid. Uh, we'll be the judge of that. You do have a Nuzleaf. That's pretty cool. Um, we're gonna switch to... Let's get Dracus some experience today. Swift. Psh. How about Aerial Ace, though? Yeah, how about that? 361. Mighty Anna. So what is he? Actually, a Dark Trainer. Not a... Um, Grass trainer like I was hoping for. No problem. We know just how to deal with you too. We're gonna do the exact same thing. We're gonna switch the old CC. Sand attack, I don't like that. We can brick break it. We missed. Oh! Oh, you want some of the sporks. Okay, bring it on, dude. Sand attack all over the place. You know who's good at fighting sand attacks is um, one Moira because can't, uh, Odor Sleuth, because uh, Magic Sleuth can't miss. It's all right, this Mighty Anna plays dirty. We'll just throw some Intimidates on it, it's got nothing. Spread the experience around. The man, You know what, this kid is good. They have got some good Pokemon. Mighty Anna, Shiftry, Dark Trainer. It's an interesting choice for such a small child, but uh, there you go. If CC wants to get a level out of this, that's fine with me. I think that would make CC tied with Happy for levels though, that's crazy. Who'd have thought? Who'd have thought Granbull would have been the other Pokemon on the team to, uh... Look at that. 236s. Who'd have thought? 
We're gonna switch data up so we can get the old data and Moira and fight going here. Oh, this isn't, I thought this was gonna be a double fight, but it's not. They switched so many of the fights to double fights, but I guess not this one. Anyway, Data's got this. No problem. <coughs> Did hit us with the sand attack, which is always a little scary. Oh, another Skarmory. Okay, so now we've missed twice. We're gonna switch to Happy here. Honestly, at this point, the weird thing is, now that we have an evolved Dugong, and with Water Pulse, I think that water attack is that might be a more effective water type user than Happy. Because all we have is Water Gun. Like, when is Happy's next water attack? You know, like, how far into the game do we have to get? Data go to 35. That's awesome. Go Happy. A Daily Bird. All right, this thing is about to get Brick Break right in its face. He's got a Flying Trainer, surprisingly. Let's get Happy that level just to make sure, just so... I think the worst thing that could happen is if CC suddenly became the strongest Pokemon on the team. That would be, I think, bad news for everyone, right? No one wants that. CC, I mean, not that we would. Oh, it's a big on. I'm sure Dracus will love <laughs> Happy knocking out a member of its line. Oh, but it gets burned. Oh, no. Okay. And another burn. Mm -hmm. The problem with burns is that it cuts your attack in half which is annoying, but we're gonna get the level off of it. 37, kabam, nice. Kingdra, oh boy, that's, a, that's quite a Pokemon you've got there. Here's what we're gonna do is switch into, um, I guess, mm, this is a tough fight. Let's go Morin, let's go Morin, this should be okay. Twister, okay, so let's actually Leech Seed this thing. Smoke screen, okay. We should be okay now, because the Leech Seed will keep us healthy and the Magic Leaf can't miss. A Twister is hitting hard though, no doubt. Get some of that, yes, okay, excellent. Well done. Twister, that was new damage. And we get healed. All right, well done, everyone. Good teamwork, look at that Moirin, helping out, helping Happy out of a tight spot. Uh, let's go ahead and use our burn here. Hope you brought a burn heal. <laughs> well, I did, right there. And do we, have, we got some super potions, right? Let's go ahead and use those right here. And right, everyone's getting a little bit, a little beat up, but not too bad. Okay, we're feeling good. Let's switch to Moirin for the lead here for a sec. Go over here. Wow, your badges are too cool. Yeah, they are. Yeah, they are, an unknown, wow. That would have been the most annoying catch ever. If we catch it unknown, wow. And a star me, okay, so we should be good here. Just gonna magic leaf it. Yeah, your HP is full. You don't need to recover, although I understand why you're afraid. Rapid spin. Maybe if you'd used like a psychic move, you'd have done fine. Look at Moirin, growing. Speed, we gotta build up Moirin's confidence. Like, there's no doubt. He's feeling so bad for himself right now after the loss of the, of the Beldum. Oh boy, let's see. Um, hmm, I don't think this is a good matchup. Good at a crack is here. Foresight, well, oh, I did not mean to use headbutt. That was a total misclick. Worked out because they flinched, but I'm going for an aerialist there. Hariyama! Okay, so this guy's super duper fighting type trainer. Vital throw, that was weirdly strong. Not weirdly strong, I guess my, or Hariyama's pretty, pretty beefy. It's own right. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Oh no, whoa! <gasps> that was close. That was a crit down to red. That was a crit down to red. Mm-hmm, we don't like that. We're gonna switch very carefully to... Boy, can you imagine if we lost Dracus? That would have been terrible. Terrible. Let's go to Happy. <laughs> come on in, come on in. Oh, revenge. Okay, okay. Uh, let's go for the bite. Not very effective. That was probably a dumb move. One more. Medicham. Okay, this is the bite. Should affect, though. Because he's part psychic. Oh, the swagger. How dare you? Okay. I don't know, man. This is a... No! Oh, no! Oh. I did not know what that was going to do. If that had been, like, a more powerful kind of hidden power. Oh, this is a tough one. I don't know if we have anything that can really... I mean, we could lower the... 
go to Sporkles? Moiran, let's go to Moiran. Detect, okay, we're good there. Let's go for the Magic Leaf. Oh, we did it, okay. Whew. Man, I was like, this is a tricky fight. More we're getting the level two, good job. Oh, Giga Drain, yes, excellent. Uh, so Giga Drain is basically the exact same as Mega Drain, except better. So uh, we're gonna get rid of that. No reason I'm both. Moiran! All right, see? Proving yourself. I always go with bird Pokemon. I've dedicated myself to them. Okay. Well, <laughs> I, <laughs> I have bad news for you, friend. That is not a bird. <laughs> or it's the weirdest bird I've ever seen. That is a slow bro. Oh, this guy's actually dedicated himself to water-type Pokemon, which means Morwin's gonna eat him for breakfast! Oh, and you got Water Rock? Hmm, truly, truly a bad decision against my lovely Grass-type. And you got Water Ground? Truly a bad decision against my Grass-type. Okay, out of power. Look at that, Morwin almost got a whole second level right. Man, and then I went the wrong way in this maze, because this maze is the worst, and this is why I don't come this way. I always go down Cycling Road, and I just want to go to the next route so we can catch something. Route 14, we're on somewhere new! Okay, there's a ton of trainers up there, but I want to catch something, so we're going to move our way down here. I'm going to go... Oh, there's so many. There's so many trainers. I just want to catch something. I feel like I, we don't want to miss out on all this lovely experience, though. Is this another? Okay, I want to catch something. We're going to move Sporkles to the front, as usual. Actually, you know what we should really do is switch uh, is Super Potion on... Dracus! There we go. There we go. Is there not grass up here that we could... Oh! What's cool and happening? Trading Pokemon? I guess that's cool. You have a Banette? That's neat. Spark! It's dead. Oh, it's not dead. And it's spited. You spite my Spark? I... Uh, uh, this thing is putting up a fight. Okay, okay. You were better than expected, Celia. Why did I think there was grass up here? Rain Dance, boy, that could, honestly, not bad since we have two water types on the team. Okay, here's what we're really gonna do, is go into this grass right here and see if we can't catch something. Let's see, what's our encounter going to be for the route? Here we go. Is it gonna be good? It's a Sand True. Okay, well, it's only all right, honestly. I don't think we can even paralyze this one, so that's different. Normally we can at least count on that. Um, we actually weirdly have like a non, like a bad, not like a bad situation. I just don't know what we're going to hit it with. I don't want to, I don't really want to fight it with Sporkles because it's strong against Sporkles. But we need to be able to hit it with something, something light, you know. We could try the Leech Seed again. Ah, ah, oh boy. Dare we? That would be so... Let's go charm on this thing. Just to weaken it up a bunch. Okay, yeah. That didn't do much. I'm gonna charm it one more time so it's really weak. Poison thing. Do not poison me! Oh my gosh. That's so annoying. Now we've been poisoned. Now we're going to CC here. We're having a real problem with being too strong. I think maybe this bite. Okay, because bite. Special type attack. Let's try that. Oh, it was perfect! Look at that, and it flinched, okay. Well done, well done. You know, Sand Slash is pretty cool. Let's give Sand Slash a, it's not a bad one. Pretty nice, we don't have any ground types, or any ground type moves at all. That'd be interesting. Two, three, a boom! We did it! All right, now I gotta, we have to find a name for this guy. Give a nickname? Yes. Hold, please. Losty. That's after Brendan Losty in the comments. Welcome to the box, Losty. All right, we did it. We did it. We cut. Oh, gosh. We have got to heal. Who is hurt? Who's got the poison? It's a. Uh, Am I? What's happening? There we go. 
on Sporkles, a mighty Sporkles. It's like one of those like, man, what if Sporkles gets hit by something a little too strong right here? Wouldn't like that one bit. Now I guess we can go fight some of these other dudes. Oh man, next, ah oh, man, I, I'm so, let's, let's clear these guys out real quick. Maybe we'll call that an episode. Houndoom going down, Doom. Yeah, take that. Shiftry. Oh, I don't like that, though. Let's switch to Dracus here. And Aerial Ace it. Ugh! Maybe we should have gone to... There we go. Dracus getting some love. Oh, Michael Gerald! Down. Maybe we should... Let's see. Moirin is actually fullest on health. I'm going to lead with big Moirin here. Pokemon battle. Cool. Rumble. Numel. Oh, we don't like that. We're going to switch to Happy to take this guy down. Get some free... You know, get, always good to get Happy. A little extra, you know, stretch the old glutes, as it were. Moirin 34. Look, Moirin has been growing this level. Water gun. Also, if we could get Happy just another water type attack, I think we'd all be happy with it. Ah, get it? Happy would be happy. And that's always good. You want Happy to be happy. Moirin. Go for that Magic Leaf. Crushing people left and right. The thing is, Moirin is such a is so consistent in getting health back because of Giga Drain and um, Leech Seed. Very, very difficult. Oh, look at this! If I recall, Grass Rock. So I'm thinking what do we do against that. I don't think Magic Leaf's gonna be that good. Well, it didn't do nothing, but it's got its own moves. Let's Giga Drain it. Yeah. Trying to acid me? Afraid not. We're gonna giga drain you. This is gonna be like a war of attrition, except that we won in no time. Kabam. Let's clear out this biker too. Come on, come on, come on. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Yeah. Oh, a beldum. Mm hmm. Wow. You're gonna make. You're gonna. Okay, you know what though? This is good. Because what we're gonna do is just show more and that it's okay. We're going to leech seed another one. And this time it's okay to knock it out. Go full force, Moirin. You got this. Now we're trying to knock it out. Yeah, it's dead. And look at that. And the level on the Beldum. Well done, Marvin. You did it. Oh, an Aggron. Okay, that's good. Now we're um, full into a Steel-type trainer here. Mm-hmm. And I feel... Oh, gosh. Let's see. Let's go CC to um, throw the Intimidate and to... Oh, Metal Claw. Uh, okay, we're good. And to Brick Break this thing. Yes! Well done, CC! Way to get in there. See, Moirin. CC can help you. Magnemite. Also, Brick Break. Yeah, now we're just going to wreck the rest of this Steel guy with our lovely fighting types. And one more. Oh! Whew. Hit with Recoil. Almost knocked itself out. We'll finish it with the Tackle. It's done. Kabam. Dead. Ha! Well done. Okay, well, I think we're going to call it an episode right there. We've made our way quite uh far along the way the route the road to fuchsia city next time i guess we can um take on koga we can go into the safari zone as well we can pick up surf and give that to happy that's what we're gonna do we're gonna go into the safari zone then we're gonna fight koga maybe we'll get our next gym badge we're gonna be that much closer to victor are we ready for koga i feel like he's in the 40s maybe we're not ready maybe we should go do some other stuff first uh maybe we should go fight Sabrina or the Fighting Dojo. Maybe we'll do something. Maybe that's what we'll do. In the meantime, though, we added uh, Walt the Wismer and Losty the Sandshrew to the box. So we have more options. I don't know if you guys think either of those would be amazing additions. Let me know. I think I'm pretty happy with how the team is looking at the moment. Everyone, look at that. Doing so good. Dracus somehow is the lowest level. What is that? What is up with that? Uh, Dracus is the one we need to get to 50. But um, we'll get there. We'll get there. Uh, thank you so much, as always, for leaving a like on this video if you haven't already. It totally helps get the video seen by more people. That's uh, the easiest thing you can do. So thank you so much. Uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and leave a comment so you might have a Pokemon name after you in the future. But until next time, bye. <laughs>